Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, we got some fig pins. I just ordered these off their website. And I seen that they released wave two of the Mandalorian fig pins. So I think I just I just picked up these two from wave two. These are from the first wave. Obviously, I got the XL pin. They, they were sold out of the, the normal pin for uh, for the Mandalorian. But uh, I picked up the the big uh, bigger size what. But honestly, it looks pretty good with like a normal size uh, fig pin, especially with the baby Yoda. <clears throat> um, I got the one with him like sipping the soup. I thought that was like the the cuter one. I think he was in the space ball, like the Frieza space pod. I think they still had that one up, I believe. And I think the one where he's just like standing up and looking at you. I think that that was sold out. Um, the so Ahsoka Tano one. Here. actually let me just bring it up a little bit closer on the camera here's the first one from wave wave two ahsoka tano this is uh where she's an adult she got the white lightsabers she's uh i don't know if she's not a jedi or not i think she considers herself a gray jedi i don't know if they're going with that on the show uh, it's been a long time since I've seen the episode, but yeah, this is a pretty cool uh, fig pen. And uh, what fig pens are, you could leave them in the case how I do, or if you have like an extra, like I think I have an extra Vegeta, I put it like on my backpack for like my work backpack. And they're just like cool ways to, you know, display like, you know, your nerd side and just uh, have pins around. Then we got the, the Mandalorian with the child on this one. I thought this one was, this is probably my favorite one of all of them. This is really cool. I like how Baby Yoda's like in his little pouch right there. And and uh, Din Djarin is just, he has the full Beskar outfit. And he just looks really sick in, in this pose. I, I love this. This is pretty cool. <clears throat> and we also got from the Clone Wars, Darth Maul. Honestly, this is what made... Clone Wars into a much better show when they introduced Darth Maul back into the series. Man, Darth Maul has some of the coolest scenes in this show. And uh like if you agree, comment your favorite uh your favorite uh episode with Darth Maul, like uh when he took over like the Mandalorian uh city and became like the the leader behind the scenes, that was so freaking cool. And how he killed the pre Vizsla to get the the dark saber that was sick i love uh i really hope uh darth maul shows up in the mandalorian season three that'll be sick if they actually do that i'll be it'll be cool if they could just make his own like spin-off series like darth maul i know they're making that obi-wan show so i'm not sure if he's gonna show up in that show but that'll be pretty cool uh it's just a close-up on on him with the dark saber mechanical legs his outfit yeah he just looks sick then let's look at the child a little fig pen sticker where i think uh you could uh scan your uh, your fig pins i think they have like a code on the on the back of the pin and you could enter that pin number into the the app and you could see like how many pins were made and which pin you specific specifically uh have from that wave so it's just a pretty cool way to track your uh your pins and look at this guy this guy is so cute <laughs> i love baby yoda or grogu that's that's his name grogu back of the pin and i usually just like put these in, in the back of my like background right here with behind my mortal combat posters um I know that Vegeta is like my rarest pop of all. The Scouter Vegeta. He's a online exclusive from the website. Got my fighters pins, Mortal Kombat. He's pretty pretty rare. I got a uh, Goku Black, Kid Buu, Sasuke, Itachi, Kakashi, the XL Dragon Ball, Super Saiyan Goku. And I got a Broly on the side behind my booster boxes for Digimon cards. But uh, I don't want to mess that up and got the xl version of the mandalorian din Djarin, all best guard up such a great show i love this show 
This is probably one of my favorite uh, iterations of Star Wars of all time. Just because I love how, like, the show writers just, just you know, they're fans and they bleed Star Wars and they care about Star Wars just like us fans. It's not it's like none of that uh, new episode bullshit with episode 8 and, and 7 and 9. But uh, yeah, I love the Mandalorian, and I just had to get these pop, these uh, these pins. I was about to say pops, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do collect some some Funko pops, but not everything. And same thing with the like the man with these fig pins. I just get what I what I like, you know, like like some Naruto, Dragon Ball, Mortal Kombat, you know, stuff like that. And now Star Wars, I definitely love my Star Wars. So yeah, these are. Cool. I don't know if I want to open them up and like put the pins in my app to see which ones I got. Uh, I'll probably do that later or it's probably not even worth it doing it on camera. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to share this quick little video of my uh, my fig pin haul that I got on their website. You, I think these are still available. The Darth Maul, Mandalorian, uh, Wave 2 and the Wave 1. A little bit of the late Wave 1. They're most of those wave one fig pins are going sold out so you definitely want to get your hands on on them and uh yeah leave a like subscribe if you're if you like you know seeing s stuff like this on the channel uh i do booster box openings card pack openings um i do about everything like just just take a look at my videos and, and just scroll to see you know, I got a little bit of everything on my channel, so I'm not. I just don't focus on one thing. I I do plenty of things, so I appreciate if you would leave a subscription, and a like or a comment, and uh, yeah, catch you guys on the next video. Peace out. Have a good have a good day.